What's going to work? I do good job. <laughs> you okay? Or a lot. Welcome back everybody. It's time for the cookout. We're getting everything ready. Titus went to the store. We have Manly and Boots. Hello. He's very excited. We went outside for a little bit. Now we're in here. I'm gonna get everything ready. We got these. You like Titus? What are you gonna do with them? Well, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do with them. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna take this Hawaiian football. And I'm going to I'm gonna chop this top off this bad boy. And we're gonna fill this thing up with some kind of Maybe some ice cream, homemade ice cream. Sip on it with a straw. And we're out there looking at the ocean. <laughs> and that's gonna be good. It's good. We got a part it's of the good, ocean Mandy. out there. In the back. What? It's more like the Everglades, I know. These are reusable. Yes, as you long as you got them. this, it will make everything good. <laughs> this is reusable. It's, say for example, one of the neighbors want to pop up and I'll be like, hold on, let me go wash my clothes. <laughs> I'll let you use mine. You know, they uh, Dollar Tree, they might have some right now. They sell actual, you know, plastic coconut it ain't, cups. It ain't like it though, Not the same? Yeah, Not the same, okay. Mom, that's matches. See? Is that white? Mozzarella. Mozzarella, that'd be okay. That's what we need right there, Manny. You did a good job. I did a good job. Woo! I'm superhero. You're a superhero? Can you fly like a superhero? Uh, I don't got wings. Oh, okay. He's going to get more cheese. He's bringing us all the cheese, y'all. Well, he's going to be a cheese maker when he gets big. He's bringing us all the... He heard Titus say we needed some white cheese, and now he's bringing us all the cheese. He, he brought us this one. Truck. The sharp cheese cheddar. truck is on its way. I got another cheese. He's got another cheese. What kind you got there, buddy? I got that one. Woo! Yeah. That I knife? We're gonna make some cowboy caviar tonight. We have this at one of the restaurants that we go to. The reason I'm using this knife is because so many of you out there love to see me use it. Yeah, it's really good, but we need corn, and you can use canned corn, but we thought it would be really good to use this fresh corn. Fresh. Make sure that you like squirt, like spray the spray juice the out juice on everybody. On like, everybody in the room. It's all over. I see it. Now you can scrape it up and dump it into this bowl. Yep. So we have Can five... we do it at the end, Mom? Oh, yeah, yes. I'm gonna wait till we get a big, humongous mountain of corn. Okay, while he's getting the corn ready, I'm gonna go ahead and put some baked beans in the oven. The potatoes are already on the grill. Tyler got, oh, I'm sorry. You okay? <laughs> That's what I do in my kitchen. What I was saying was, before I was interrupted by corn juice, Tyler already got the potatoes ready. They're on the grill. We're having steaks and hamburgers tonight instead of steaks and chicken because whenever I mentioned that we were gonna do the chicken, the kids were asking could we do hamburgers again. They'd rather have hamburgers than even steak. We asked them do they want steak and even Jake, steak Jake, even Jake said that he would rather have a burger. But we went ahead and we got three steaks and we normally just cut them up and everybody will get a little bit of steak. There you go. Teamwork. Teamwork. What's going to work? Before we make the cowboy caviar, which I think I probably need to put it in this bigger bowl. We got the black beans in there with the corn. Now Titus is chopping up a red onion and a red pepper.
We're putting in one can of drained black eyed peas. Now the peppers and onion. Did you put in a can of corn too? No, I just put in about a half a corn. Okay. Uh, a can of corn. The reason I did that is just to enhance the color. Look at all them colors come together to make something beautiful. We interrupt this right quick and come over here. Baked beans. Baked beans section. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel this avocado right quick. Look how pretty all those colors are. Okay, you're gonna put in the avocado, then you also need some of your favorite thing. Woo! You know what it is? Baby. What? Cilantro. Oh, I do love cilantro now. That ain't no joke right there. She ain't even joking about that. I ain't even joking. Put our avocado in there. We got a lot here. We're gonna have a lot of this Cilantro leftover. going in. Mama's going in with a little bit of diced tomatoes. Rotel, well, Ro it's, it's great value brand okay it throw me off it throw me off at this time i want to go ahead and put some balsamic vinegar in this bad boy right here we're just going to put a little bit in there of this vinegar not much mix it well everybody i ain't even kidding y'all i just took a little sample man that stuff's good it's delicious baby That's delicious. The last thing for the cowboy caviar, we have the juice of one lime and a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. We'll just take these same forks he was using and mix it all up. This makes a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're gonna be having cowboy caviar for days. <laughs> that is ready. Okay, the food is done. I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice cream started though. That way, when we get finished eating, the ice cream will be almost done. It seems like we might have made some pineapple coconut ice cream last year. I'm putting in a little bit of milk. Now we're gonna put one can of sweetened condensed milk. Now for ice cream, I use different brands of sweetened condensed milk for other recipes, but for ice cream, Gordon is the best, Borden Eagle brand. Not sponsored, but for real. I've tried it with other sweetened condensed milk and it doesn't do as good for some reason. For this, since it's coconut, we're gonna put just a little bit of coconut milk in here. I love to use a big spoon. <laughs> to come in there and just scoop you out some of that coconut milk. Oh yes. That's, that's, that's all we want right there, that's it. I'm gonna take the whisk for this part so that I know I break up all that cream and sweetened condensed milk get all that mixed together good we're gonna put in some more milk now we're gonna take this can of cream of coconut or a lot we're gonna put some pineapple juice now for the pineapple juice I'm just gonna go with probably I'm gonna start with two-thirds of a cup we're gonna put the rest of the milk and then we'll see what we need to do here if we need to add any more so I don't think I'm gonna put any sugar normally I put sugar oh I do need a little vanilla daddy we do need to put a little vanilla or just plain vanilla ice cream, whatever, I put sugar, but this cream of coconut is really sweet, so just about a teaspoon. That's good. I think we can go with just a little bit more pineapple juice. Coming in with a little more pineapple. Just a third of a cup more, and then the rest of our milk. Where's our fill line at? Did I already get to the fill line? But we don't need any, no sugar. That sweetened, uh, I mean that cream of coconut that's did the sweet. trick. Gonna I believe that's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good. 